crack it. I would love it if you would subscribe just by clicking the button down below it's free and it would make me really really happy um, today's video is a DIY Easter party setup kind of thing if you guys do like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up I spent a lot of time filming and editing ed I spent it a lot <laughs> I can't talk I spent a lot of time filming and editing this video so I would really appreciate it if you guys give it a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Also, if you guys recreate anything I show you in this video, please send me a picture on social media. All my social media links will be linked down below and probably somewhere on the screen right here. Okay, so let's uh, jump into the video. Okay, so for these string Easter eggs, start by blowing up the balloon. The first time I actually tried to put a piece of candy inside the balloon and um, well, you'll see what happens. <laughs> so then I just added some glue into a bowl. I also laid out some wax paper so that nothing would stick. And then put some string in your glue. And when I tried to touch the balloon with the candy in it, well, it popped. So I just went ahead and blew up some regular water balloons. But if you want to try that, hey, go for it. So the more you wrap the string around the balloon, the actually the cooler the look is going to be when it's done. And it's really simple. So there you go. I can fly. So once they've dried, uh, you I, <laughs> I started by pressing the balloon away from the string just so when I pop the balloon it doesn't like encave. So then I took a paper clip that you could totally use like a needle or something and I popped the balloon at the very tip where you tie it so it would deflate really slowly and it would just pop. And this is what they look like. <laughs> For the Easter Rice Krispie Treats, I just followed the recipe on the back of the Rice Krispie cereal box, which is just melting some butter and marshmallows together, and then when that's melted, you add in the Rice Krispie cereal. So for decorating, I started by washing my hands and a couple of Easter eggs and then I sprayed both my hands and the Easter eggs with some cooking oil just so the Rice Krispies wouldn't stick to them. Then I pressed the Rice Krispie into the mold, pressed the two halves together and got this Easter egg shape. So then I decorated them with some sprinkles. I also tried putting some candy at the bottom of the Easter egg mold and pressing that in. I didn't like the way it looked. You could try it if you want. And then I took the rest of the Rice Krispie treats and pressed them into a pan and decorated that with some Easter candy and some sprinkles. And then I put that in the fridge and cut it up into more bite-sized pieces and that's it. <laughs> So I made this really cool Easter banner with just printing out some letters that spell Happy Easter and then I cut them into like flag shapes but you can make that totally more creative and then I just taped it onto some string and hung it up. Don't let this be our final song. So to decorate the table, I started off with an Easter basket, which I filled with this filler stuff. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and some Easter egg. 
And then I also took these buckets that I bought from Target for like a dollar and I filled it with some more of that filling stuff and then some candy. <laughs> And then of course I added the Rice Krispie Treats and also the string eggs to the table as well. I added one more Easter basket with uh, the filler stuff and some Easter eggs. And then also I added the rest of the water balloons to the table because I figured why not have a water balloon fight and uh, that's it. Did you like the video? If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up letting me know down below that you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more like it. Uh, leave me a comment down below what was your favorite thing in the video and um, go follow me on social media. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already because uh, it would make me super happy and uh, I'm trying to grow my channel. So, yeah. And um, I hope you have a wonderful Easter, and if you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.